What is the most expensive item you own excluding cars and houses? My garden. I've gladly poured a lot of my money time into it. If that doesn't count then I'd say trademarks. If that doesn't count then probably my bags and couple pairs of Gucci shoes. I went through the phase of my business is making money now I can finally buy a couple nice things I've always wanted. They represent huge bucket list career milestones for me but they all just sit in my closet now for the most part. I use a $30 backpack purse bag from Amazon and wear my 20 year old chucks or sambas, or my duck boots or knockoff burks for gardening most days. I bought an e-bike as a gift to myself after getting a job with a substantial pain crease. The bike cost 7,000 US dollars. A few years ago in relative passing left me $2,500 with instructions to spend it on something fun. I bought a mini Mogri issue Model D. It was $2,500 at the time. People are trying to sell them now on eBay in excess of $8,000. I also own a nearly mint condition Hammond Day 102 organ from the early 1960s. I actually got that for free. I have a Leslie 122 to go with it but the cabinet is in very rough shape. I have no idea what they might be worth. 80.000 NT carb support. Edit it in Dutch we would write it as 80.000 euros I don't know its actual value but some antique I valued it some years ago. Some info it was built around 1730 and passed down in my family. I don't play it myself hate the sound TBH and it's kept in a room with regulated humidity so it doesn't age as fast. Before the 2 NDWW it was restored because some of the wood started falling apart. Since I don't like it myself I'm planning on donating it to a museum and stuffing the room with guitars. Who I can play? My fucking cat. Little bastard was a rescue and I spent a lot of money right off the bat. Then one day he makes an escape and I find him nearly dead after being hit by a truck witnesses. I spent weeks sticking needles in him for hydration antibiotics etc and he still lost his tail it was damaged and dying and trying to take him with it. He has cost way more money than I've ever been able to afford for a pet. My vet was awesome in helping me cut the costs. Here he is a decade later. Still being a little fucking asshole. I love that little asshole. My old home theater systems back in the days from BH and Crutchfield cost me a little over 10k. Now it's collecting layers of dust and I don't want to trash them just yet for sentimental value because my grandpa who passed away 10 years ago bought most of it for me although I chipped in maybe one for of it working in 7-Eleven and Blockbuster Video. This was before the era of Sonos Arc or Beam or Bose sound bars. Back then home theater systems were not that affordable although sound bars are at least attainable for folks nowadays. My old home theater systems back in the days from BH and Crutchfield cost me a little over 10k. Now it's collecting layers of dust and I don't want to trash them just yet for sentimental value because my grandpa who passed away 10 years ago bought most of it for me although I chipped in maybe one for of it working in 7-Eleven and Blockbuster Video. This was before the era of Sonos Arc or Beam or Bose sound bars. Back then home theater systems were not that affordable although sound bars are at least attainable for folks nowadays. My 600 gallon reef tank system? 225 gallon show tank that is plumbed into my basement that feeds my 125 gallon sump that contains all my filtration. That then flows into my 60 gallon refuge big algae bloom that keeps algae from growing in my main rain which then flows into my 140 gallon frag tank pieces of coral I cut off and sell locally. This water is then pumped back to, to the main tank to complete the cycle. I don't even want to fathom a guess at what this setup costs. I have a rather large collection of high-end, custom, super rare inflatables and plush. Worth a lot of money so much that I'd rather not disclose the information. Me and my husband have spent the last 10 years collecting these toys, we have an entire closet full of pool toys, and dozens of plush around the house, hundreds of toys total. Obviously we have the cheap, Mass production generic stuff but for most of our collection each toy is valued somewhere between $300-3k. We have sterling silver service that I inherited and got as gifts and added to. Nowadays no one really uses or buys this kind of thing, but retail replacement value is about the price of our car. Nothing else we own comes close. Except maybe our long term care insurance policies. They've been expensive over the years, but if when we need them. They'll pay out in 6 or even 7 figures depending on our lifespans and health. No way we could come up with that kind of money. My diamond ring. Bought it for my ex fiance but it fits my pinky. I paid like 5 grand for it, and it's beautiful so now I wear it. Rings probably count for a number of people in this thread though. My most expensive also excluding engagement rings would be my currently inoperable gaming computer. 
doesn't work right now, but the functional parts are worth more than anything else I own even sold as used. PS4 Pro next closest. Nothing too interesting. A much overpriced 4-year degree. Something more tangible I own a first print of TMNT2, the original Mirage as signed by both Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Won it in a raffle at Kevin's Comic Book Museum in Western Massachusetts Words and Pictures Museum in the late 90s as A.B. pried out of my cold dead hands if I can help it. Or sure, I also have a larger comic book collection and a retro game collection always ongoing. My music collection. I don't even want to think about what I've spent on vinyl, cassettes, 8 tracks, CDs, MP3 etc. over the past 50 years. Some of it is collectible, but not much. Add in costs of stereo systems, speakers, boom boxes, Walkman, iPods. Yikes. When I got married I told my wife I don't smoke, drink to excess, gamble or chase other women. But I will continue to spend money on music. 2003 Tops Chrome Basketball Hobby Box Sealed. Paid 600 for it and now it's worth about 13k. During the peak COVID money it sold as high as 74k. I have a ton more collectibles most of which I bought from 2008-2017. Most items are up 1,000-10,000%. If you want to go with things that cost me a lot besides real estate and cars then I would say my two Breitling watches, prices were 8500 and 5800 My microscope. I wanted to major in microbiology when I was a teen. My father offered to help me buy my first car, the kind of shit box you run into the ground but you're nevertheless excited for but I asked if I could have a microscope instead. I have it to this day. It's my most prized possession. We could never afford university, but it was the closest he could get me to a lab. I miss him. Probably my PC, well over $2,500 worth of parts in that thing. Honorable mentions and frankly, some of these probably pass the PC include my MTG collection, which overflows 10 binders and is probably worth a few thousand dollars my boutique Blu-ray collection, which also is probably worth nearly $1,000 in all the video games I've purchased over the years, which collectively are easily over $10,000. My gaming computer? I have an expensive house and an expensive car, but you rule those out. I have purchased my wife expensive jewelry before. I just bought her a $6,500 watch for her 50th birthday which was unexpected and delighted her. I think either that or her anniversary ring from an earlier year are probably the single most expensive in our household. I'd a mess I once had a sneaker collection over 300 pair that I had invested over $40,000 in over 15 years. I say I'd because I sold almost all of them during COVID. I wasn't planning on it but when I saw what sneakers were selling for online in the early days of COVID March 2020 to the end of that year I thought they'll never sell this high again so now's the time. A while ago. I decided that I did not want to buy dress shoes every year. So I splurged on two pairs of RM Williams Chelsea boots that people in the Buy It For Life subreddit recommended. One black, one brown. Probably spent $700 to $900. This was pre-pandemic, and I am not a fancy dude. Now I work from home and never wear shoes, let alone dress shoes. Our Aussie doodles. Couple grand to purchase and around $200 every 8 weeks or so for grooming with an expected lifespan of 12 years that's $16,000 $17,000 right there not counting food and vet bills over the same period. But it's worth it they are the coolest dogs I've ever owned, so chill and amazing personalities. And they don't shed. Our cut co knife set. We got a good chunk of cash for our wedding and splurge on a 28 piece cut co knife set. Cost slightly north of 2k if I recall correctly. Absolutely zero regret, the knife set works amazingly and the warranty damn near covers negligence, the sales rep essentially said if you can damage it we can replace it. We have a few high-end paintings and lithographs Peter Max, Emily Belay, Goddard, etc. haven't had the Belay works appraised since he died last year they may be the most valuable pieces in our collection now. Not talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. But our artwork is collectively more valuable than anything else we own. The stamps in my passport. We have a house and cars but beyond that we don't really buy expensive stuff, but we travel a lot and we're a family of four so that shit adds up. We're kind of on an every other year schedule. 2022 was a big travel year, 2023 was modest and we stayed close to home. 2024 will probably be another big one. Probably my Wedgwood China set. Lived in Italy about 30 years ago and ordered it through the store on the army post. You had to wait 6-8 months to get it was a deal but you paid no tax on it. 
so I got over 200 piece set back then for 3000 which was about 7000 with tax. It's discontinued and now worth over 10,000. Love it. My long distance target rifle, plus attending reloading and load development setup. Easily $15,000, more likely $20,000. It can land 10 out of 10 shots in a target the size of an iPad from 1km away. It's a piece of sports equipment, thoroughly and unrepentantly unsuited for any practical application. It is also purple. I own a fossilized partial spinosaurus jaw with three teeth attached. Valued at $25,000. It mostly sits on a cabinet as an interesting art piece. I own several firearms optics that are worth several grand as well. Maybe some old medical and architectural books I have are worth a fair bit, but I doubt anything over $2,000. Probably my PC and it's not even a baller unit. It's an i5-9400 and recently upgraded to a GTX 1080 t from a 1660 Super. I'm probably into it around $2,000 Aussie. Second would be the sum total of the guitar related gear. Guitars, amp, effects pedals that I don't use anymore because I bought a Boss Katana. My cat. We have spent so much money on a special food, chemotherapy, and now a new special food since he decided to have hyperthyroidism. He's such a sweet, loving boy. He just happens to love the vet too. Once his liver enzymes are manageable again. We will see about radiation treatment for the thyroid.